So in a never ending quest to organize my small shop here, uh, one thing that's always been a, an issue in taking up space is metals and metal plate and metal rods. And I used to keep them in a basket and it would always tip over and it was never organized and I could never find anything. So I eventually made these drawers and these are rolling drawers and they fit under, there's one here and one here and they fit underneath my workbench a space that was always wasted space. If anything got in there, I never found it. Now I have these rolling drawers. I can pull this out. I can find a, you know, an aluminum plate, steel rod and steel rebar in here. I can see everything because there's a lot of surface to see everything. Um, so let me show you how I made it and what I did to attach the wheels. So here is one of the two drawers, and obviously the dimensions of this drawer are dependent on the workbench. It can't be too high where it hits the bottom shelf. I have to have it wide enough so that two drawers are fit with a little bit of leeway in the middle. And it's about the depth of my workbench as well. So that's how I got the dimensions. All the wood is scrap hardwood and plywood that I had left over. I just ripped it on the table saw. And I just attached a couple handles on the front that I had laying around. The only tricky part is the wheels themselves. Now I used rollerblade wheels which had bearings in them and I thought how could I securely attach it in a very low profile way and you'll see they're not completely sticking out of the bottom. I only have them sticking out about an inch which it could be less than that but an inch was enough that gave me enough of a shelf and still cleared the bottom shelf but I couldn't have the wheel at the whole bottom or it wouldn't fit. So the wheel had to be inset into the shelf several inches but that gave me room to attach some two by two boards I glued them to the sides and to the bottom and all I used was a nail I put through the side into one of the supports I used little rubber hoses as spacers so the wheel didn't move around in there I could have used any sort of metal rod or anything like that but I thought a nail would be strong enough and it would have some flex to it and with these roller blade wheels, they spin really smoothly. I'm able to pull this out and push it back in really smoothly. And that's all there is to it. It's super simple. It's an, a way for me to see everything when I pull these out. I can see all the metal that I have in there. It's great for little small odds and ends that will get lost in the bottom of a cabinet or get lost in a bucket. Now I can pull this out and see all the all the scrap pieces I have and find exactly the right one. So time to load this back up and slide it back under the workbench. So these have worked out great. Um, they are ca able to carry a lot of weight. This one's pretty heavy. This shelf here is pretty full of metal and it's I don't know, I'd say 60 pounds, and it still rolls really easily. Um, they almost roll too easily. The shop in the basement is angled, and sometimes I'll push these in, and they'll come rolling back out because of the angled floor. But most times you give them a good push and they'll stay in. So again, this is one of those projects I wish I had done it a long time ago, because it's made me a lot more organized and a lot quicker. Uh, I'm able to find stuff a lot quicker. So let me know what you think. Thanks. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.